Australia's broom industry began when the first settlers built a hut, then made a broom to clean it. They soon learned the importance of getting good material for the bristles. And today, high-class Australian-grown millet is used in the manufacture of Australian broom. Good bristles are the heart of any brush or broom. So careful sorting and selection are the order of the day. A skilled and important job. Automatic machines are almost human. Shaping, trimming and paring almost lovingly turning the wood into the housewife's horror, scrubbing brushes. While one machine drills holes, another inserts the bristles. So easy, but from now on, a scrubbing brush is all hard work. every woman, nylon is a magic word. And nylon hairbrushes like these will adorn the dressing tables of a million beauties. Now for brooms. Machines comb and brush the millet to remove seeds and other impurities. An enemy of dust, a broom should start clean itself. Working too fast for the eyes to follow, a craftsman wires the millet to the handle. After a first trim, more and more is added. Deft hands bind it in to give strength and flexibility for the long, tough life ahead. For the men who make them, a broom is not a witch's sky rider. It's a masterpiece in millet. Now it's the machine's turn, sewing the bristles together to give them a firm foundation. Sewing is a most important job, for as it's sewn, so shall it sweep. Finally, they're cut to size, preferably the wife's size. New broom ready to make a clean sweep for another Australian industry.